Hey mathematicians, today our lesson is over multiplying by 10 and 100. Our tech is 4.4b, determine products of a number and 10 or 100 using properties of operations and place value understandings. Let's go ahead and read our learning goal together. Today I am learning to multiply by 10 and 100 so I can estimate and solve real world problems. I'll know I have it when I can define factor and product, I can explain that a place value to the left is 10 times the place to its right. I can calculate products using place value understandings. Let's look at some real world connections and understand why you need to know how to multiply by 10 and 100. So we often see money in amounts that are simple to skip count, such as ones, fives, tens, one hundreds. We can count dimes by counting by tens, we can count $10 bills also by counting by tens and $100 bills counting by hundreds. It is time saving to be able to count the number of bills we have, then multiply that by their value. Um, another example would be you want to give each of your friends 10 Pokemon cards, but you have a lot of friends, 32 to be exact. Knowing how to multiply by 10 will help you quickly know how many Pokemons you need to purchase. All right, let's do a quick review of our vocabulary before we jump into our mini lesson. Remember, multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition using an algorithm, or a simple way to say that is a strategy, using a strategy. A factor is a number that is being multiplied. So a factor times a factor gives us the product. So in this example, the five times the five, both of those fives, we call them factors. They're being multiplied together. When we get our answer, this is called a product. It's the answer when two factors are multiplied together. So when I multiply this five times five, my answer is 25. So 25, we would call that our product. All right, now for our mini lesson. Remember that addition and multiplication are related. When multiplying by 10 and 100, we are simply skip counting or adding those values over and over and over. Remember, repeated addition is the same as multiplication. First, we're gonna look at the distributive property. This is when we use expanded form of numbers to multiply each place value by 10 or 100. So for example, if I multiply 25 by 100, I would break apart that 25 into 20, I have two tens, and five, five ones. So I have 20 plus five, that's gonna give me 25, but we're breaking it apart. And then we're gonna multiply each of those values by 100. So if I multiply 20 times 100, then I'm gonna add that to my five times 100. When I multiply 20 times 100, I get 2,000. A trick to this is I can multiply my digits, my two times my one, two times one is two, and then I can just count the number of zeros that I have. So I have one, two, three zeros. So in my product, when I multiply those numbers together, I should also have three zeros. So let's look, so two times one was two, then I have one, two, three zeros. So five times 100, I can multiply the five times the one, leaving me with five, and then I have one, two zeros. So five, plop two zeros on the end for a product of 500. When I add those two products together, my partial products, I get a, a total product of 2,500. We're also gonna look at um, place value chart multiplication, which is just multiplying within our place value chart. So quickly, I want us to remember that as we move to the left in our place value chart, our numbers get larger. So let's start with an example, 15 times 10. Since 15 is being multiplied by 10, we are going to put 15 in the tens place. So if you'll see, I put 15 in my tens place. Then because we can't have a place empty, we're gonna put zeros behind. So because I'm in the tens place, I just need to put one zero in the ones place, and then we'll rewrite our answer to get 150. Now let's try multiplying by 100. So we're gonna do 24 times 100. Since 24 is being multiplied by 100, we're going to put 24 in the hundreds place. 
So when we were multiplying by 10, we put it in the tens place, but now we're multiplying by 100, so we're gonna put that number in the hundreds place. Then we'll add zeros in the places behind, so the tens place needs a zero and the ones place uh, needs a zero. Then we'll rewrite our answer to get 2,400. Let's do a quick check for understanding. What is a factor? A factor is a number being multiplied by another number. Oops, what is a product? A product is the answer to a multiplication. Sorry about that, skipped a slide. Using the distributive property, how would I break this multiplication problem apart? Go ahead and pause the video if you need to for this question. So I would break my 19 into expanded form. So I would have 110, giving me 10, and 9 ones. And then I'm going to multiply 10 times 100 and 9 times 100. So again, I'm just going to multiply 1 times 1, getting me 1. And then I have 1, 2, 3 zeros. So in my product, I should have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Then I'm going to multiply 9 times 100. 9 times 1 is 9. I have 1, 2, 0. So I, so I should have 1, 2 zeros in my product. When I add those factors, those partial products, excuse me, when I add those partial products together, I get a total product of 1,900. Using a place value chart, what place would I put 23 in when multiplying by 10? If I'm multiplying by 10, I'm going to put my number that I'm multiplying by in the tens place. All right, guys, I'll see you for guided practice.